Hi, my name is Adam Lazarus, and I'm a senior at the University of Tampa. I've created this video to show the functions of an application I created for a contest for this year's Lotusphere event. Previous to this contest, I haven't had any experience using Lotus Domino Designer. However, I have had limited experience using enterprise application development suites offered by SAP, Microsoft, and Salesforce. It took me about three to four hours to create this application, and I used the training that was provided by GBS. So, let me show you what the end result looks like. This is the application that was created. It's called Loner. It's made to model a movie rental business very similar to that of a blockbuster. On the homepage, there's buttons for returning to the homepage, creating a new rental, a new customer, a new movie, and deleting a selected item. Additionally, there's a search box which would enable a user to search for any record within the system. Displayed on the homepage, there's tabs for recent rentals, customers within the system, movies within the system, rental statistics, and a listing of movies by genre. On the recent rentals tab, it displays the rental customer by showing their ID and full name, along with the movie that they rented by showing its ID and full name, and if that movie has been returned or not. On the customers tab, it displays all customers within the system. Next to the customer ID, there's a checkbox which would enable the deletion of that record. The customer ID is also hyperlinked to the details of that customer. To edit the details of a customer, all you have to do is click the edit button, make the changes, and then click the save button. As you can see, when I click the edit button, the save button appeared. Back on the home page, there's the movies tab. It's very similar to the customers tab in that it shows all records within the system with a checkbox for deletion and then the ID is hyperlinked to the details. Showing the movie details, we're then able to view that movie's cover image. It's displayed within a light box. Same goes for editing and saving as within the customer. Click the edit button, make the changes, and click the save button. Back on the home page, there's the rental statistics tab. This displays a pie chart displaying the movies and their popularity. The last tab is the Movies by Genre tab. This displays a listing of all movies within the system sorted by genre. The title of each movie is hyperlinked to that movie's details. As you can see, this movie has two cover images and they're both displayed neatly within a light box. Let's test out the search function of the site. I'm just going to type in house and see what we can find within the system related to house. As you can see, it shows we have house season 5 within the system and we can click it and it's linked to that movie's details with its cover image visible within a light box. Back on the home page, there's the buttons for creating a new rental, a new customer, and a new movie. I'm only going to show you one of these since they're all very similar. To create a new rental, you have to select a customer. We're going to select, select Maggie Simpson and as you can see, on the right, it updated with her personal information. It did that using a partial refresh. Once you select a customer, you then select a movie that they're going to rent and the date on which they're going to rent it, and if it's been returned or not. So, that's the loaner application.